class. For your science lesson today, the learning objective is, can I plan positive changes to a local environment and use evidence to answer questions about why they are making the changes? By the end of the lesson, you will plan how to make positive changes to a small local area. You will consider the people who may use the area and think about how they might use it. You will consider the other living things who may use the area. And then you will draw a plan of how they would change a local environment for the better. Here is a picture of Black Park. Black Park covers over 500 acres of woodland, heathland and open space in South Buckinghamshire. Now woodland, as you know, means um, an area that is covered by wood, but if you're just wondering what heathland means, I have googled this for you to find, that it means area that's covered by um, bushes and, and shrubs basically. So I'm just going to write this in case you were not aware. Um, an area covered by bushes and shrubs. Um, and also open space in South Buckinghamshire, as we just said. With family-friendly attractions, such as the Adventure Playground and Go Ape, miles of beautiful woodland tracks and trails and opportunities for wildlife spotting, the park offers something for everyone to enjoy. Black Park has a rich filming history and is often used as a location for both big and small productions. Production is another word for when films are being made. So let's just highlight that keyword as well. Productions, when films are made. There we go. This means that there are sometimes temporary closures of paths or woodland compartments. So when filming is in progress, um, paths are sometimes closed and places of wood, or I say wood, woodland, um, woodland areas are closed off as well. So then that people who are filming can film in peace. This is a bird's eye view of the park. So this map and bird's eye view provides you with information on what Black Park has to offer. And what you can see really clearly as well by this bird's eye view um, image or map is the shape of the park. So I think that's also really, really important. Um, the fact that you can see the shape. So I'm just going to make a note of that. Bird's eye view shows you the shape really clearly as well. Um, and as you can see at the bottom right hand corner, there are certain facilities that the park has that um, you can see quite clearly there. You know where the toilets are, you know where you can park. Um, if I was to look super closely, I might make it a little bit bigger for you to see. There we go. So you can see that in the park, there is the opportunity to have a treetop adventure, treetop junior, segways, a bike hire, and you have the country parks office. So where you can see that eye on the map, that is where you can expect to find that office. You have the car park and disabled parking, toilets, as we mentioned before, which are accessible. Uh, you have dog bins, no public access, black park boundary, which is where the park stops. Um, you have a cafe, the Lakeside Cafe, a picnic area, adventure playground, kiosk where you can ask questions. And um, there are also areas where you can't have any dogs and that is marked by the picture with a dog and it has a line through it. Um, it also then tells you any private hire spaces. So if you want to have your very own party just with you and your friends, you can hire out certain places in the park like the beach hut, the lakeside room, Foxley Cops and Black Pines Camp. Now this should get you nice and ready for your three tasks. You're going to be redesigning the area and changing it for the better. To do this, you must take the time to properly explore the area. So if you live nearby, if you live near Black Park, 
definitely take the time to go and visit it just to get a really clear picture of what um, Black Park is all about. If you can't visit it, obviously then you don't have to do this. You won't be able to do this, but just a suggestion that if you do live nearby, take the chance, go there with your family. You can have a socially distanced walk with your friends. It's a really nice chance to catch up as well. Um, you can use Google Earth to explore it as well, which I will show you now. If you just click on the link, um, or you can just go onto Google and actually type in Google Earth. So if you type in Google Earth onto your um, search engine, click on the first link. So this is if you can't go to see it, you can get a clear picture through the internet, which is a fantastic invention. So just waiting for it to load up. Fantastic. And then once Google Earth has loaded up, you click on the search bar and you type in Black Park and then just press enter. Wait for that to load up and then you click on the first option that you are given like that. It says Black Park, Country Park, Park in England. And then here you get a little introduction, Black Park, Country Park. It says a country park in Wexham, Buckinghamshire. Um, so then you can, if I move my camera um, and press the close button on the intro, you can click on the person icon and then go somewhere near the Black Park, Country Park. I think I'm going to click right in the middle. Click on that and we are going to the park. There you go, so we're in the middle of it now. Oh, hello, random person. So look, it's as if we're standing on the water. So this is one part of um, the country park. So take the opportunity when you're on Google Earth to um, have the chance to explore the area. But that is if you can't go. If you can go to the Black Park Country Park, then even better, go there. But if you can't, you have Google Earth to help you explore. And what I would like for you to do is ask yourself certain questions. Does it look different in the winter? What is there now? Does any living thing use the space? Does it have any positive impact as it is now? Is there water nearby? Are there any dangerous roads that you need to be aware of? Does it have sunlight or is it in the shade? Who walks past this space? And lastly, whose windows overlook this space? Your three challenges, boys and girls. Task number one, design Black Park. Draw your own bird's eye view of the area and draw and label the things that you would include. Then task number two is going to be to write down a list of resources that you would need in order to make these changes possible. Once you've done that, your final task, task number three, will be to explain your plan to your peers in the classroom or on video if you are at home. This is just to encourage you to use your presenting skills and the only person who will be seeing this on Tapestry will be myself, so please don't be nervous. Um, I think it's a really good opportunity to just showcase how good you are at speaking and speaking with confidence. If you are a little bit shy to do that, then you are more than welcome to just post a picture of your design and then put it onto Tapestry. But if you do want to challenge yourself that little bit more, then record yourself talking about it. Talk me through why you have included what you have included. Now, the purpose of these three challenges is to just look deeper at um, an area, especially a local area, and seeing how you can make it um, really, really interesting for those people who use it, but then also definitely take into consideration the living things that are in the area. So remember the questions that we've asked, think about um, what we have discussed when it comes to surviving in different seasons. If Black Park looks different in the winter, do you need different things for the winter time to make sure that humans who go there will survive? Um, to make sure that the living things that live there would survive. Think about those questions. Think about everything that we've thought about when it comes to the area around us and the environment in general and use that knowledge to then create um, Black Park in a way that makes it good for the environment and fun for children and families and people in general, but then also it 
takes care of the living things that you might find there. Now, I've not told you or discussed with you the living things that live in Black Park. So you could maybe do some research of your own to see what lives there. So then you can make sure um, 100% that you are looking after them as well, rather than just forgetting about the fact that um, it's not just humans who use that area, that public area. So that is all from me for your science lesson. Um, remember that if you can only get task one done in the time given, then that is absolutely fine. Please don't um, feel like you have to take longer than around an hour um, on this lesson. Um, if you do have time, then you're more than welcome to complete the other two challenges. But don't stress. Um, stay safe and I'll see you very soon.